potholes are a common sight to Mississippi motorists. They are a nuisance to drivers, and for MDOT maintenance crews, they are safety problems that keep returning bigger and in larger numbers. As we all know, Mississippi summers can be brutal, not only for people, but for pavement as well. In fact, pavement temperatures can get up to 140 degrees in the middle of the summer. Just as the sun ages your skin, it ages the asphalt. This, combined with the dramatic fluctuations in temperature throughout the year, causes the pavement to crack. When the pavement cracks, water gets in and the pavement deteriorates further. Additionally, heavy Mississippi downpours followed by drought conditions cause the soil underneath the pavement to expand and contract, creating a gap between the pavement and the soil. When vehicles travel over these pavement sections, the dreaded pothole forms. Preventative maintenance and timely repaving are the best ways to prevent pothole development. Repairing potholes is done by hand, one pothole at a time, and is extremely dangerous for the MDOT maintenance crews. Crews patch potholes while traffic is still flowing past them in the unaffected travel lanes. These crews undergo extensive safety training to work alongside traffic, but they still rely on the traveling public to protect them. MDOT repairs about 30,000 potholes every year. That's roughly $2.25 million every year spent on potholes. Timely paving prevents cracks from continuing to develop into potholes. Mississippi's wet and humid environment attributes to the rapid deterioration of the pavement once the cracking forms. Pothole patching is a short-term fix to a larger problem. When potholes begin to form, it is an indication of a larger issue. Pavement will continue to deteriorate and require major rehab, which can cost between six and 14 times more than a simple overlay. MDOT spends millions of dollars every year patching potholes. Paving the road before potholes form saves tax dollars, reduces vehicle repairs, and strengthens Mississippi's economy.